Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608 and today we are playing Star Maid. And I am excited because last night, well, last night from the time I'm filming, there was an update, an update that gave us all types of cool stuff and I want to talk about that all types of cool stuff today. So let me just build a little platform here and we'll get started. Alright, now it also added some, some, uh, lighting effects, so thrusters and muzzle flashes from cannons are cooler. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the logic stuff. We're going to start off with this guy. This is a randomizer. I know it looks like a shuffle button. I guess that's sort of what it is. So let's have us an output. I'll put it at light. We're going to control C on the, not control, just C on the randomizer. V on the yellow block. And we need an input for it. Alright. And there's also now an option to turn off these logic wires. I've grown attached to them. And I like the constraint of having to have a work around them aesthetically. So I'm going to leave them on. Alright. What this randomizer does is it takes a signal and it gives a 50% chance of realizing that signal's there. So we're going to hit this. No, let me use, oh, there we go. And it says, okay, that signal. So I'm going to change the state, change it, change it back. And see, when I changed it back, I decided, oh, I'm not going to listen that time. And remained on. Okay, it's on. Changed. And notice, it, about 50% of the time, it should not change its state. Or it should change its state. Actually, it's the same difference. 50% of the time, it, it, uh, does what you should think it do logically. Uh, the other 50% it doesn't. And so it sort of gives a randomization. I'm told you can use AND, lot, or, yeah, AND gates and OR gates and whatnot to build a really fancy fancy uh, doohickey there, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, I'm going to throw that power auxiliary there for a little, uh, for something a little later. But another nifty thing I've learned about I've not tried this one before, so this is going to be a live test here on camera. It's probably going to be a bad idea to live test something on camera. We're going to pop down three display blocks, and we're going to try to turn them so they face us, and we're going to connect up this, this uh, uh, not flip-flop here, and we're going to attach both those to that. And let's see. Hello, world. And um, test data entry. Now, as I understand, um, display blocks now work like rail blocks uh, when with logic like this. So when I hit this button or this flip flop, it should give this signal. And because this is touching the test data entry, this, and this is linked to it, this te uh, no data should change to test data entry. Let's try it. Hello world. Okay. I have it set up wrong? Hmm, that's strange. It's backwards. Well... I'll have to figure out why that's backwards, but yeah, see, it's it's changing. Test data entry, hello world. Hmm, probably did something wrong anyway. Let's move on to the most exciting block. There's probably something I've forgotten, but I've probably forgotten it for good reason. This is the sensor block. I love this thing. We're going to have so much fun with the sensor block. Not sensors and to, uh, to uh, remove information because it might be crude or or something like that but sensor with an S not a C anyway what you do with the sensor block is it it senses um, the states of other blocks so let's say we had a wood we're just gonna put one there that's what now we'll go to and if we attach it to this auxiliary power it will now tell us, or it will tell us the state of this, except you have to do a few more things. You have to have a activation block touching the sensor, but not attached to it. 
then uh, see. So, oh, 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 I got out of the ship. I didn't want to get out of the ship. I'm trying to think here. Except, the sensor block isn't continuous. It isn't continuously checking for the state of something. You have to give it a signal to, uh, to check. So let's put that button there and attach it. And we're going to hit the button. And every time the button I'm hitting, it's sending a, a true signal to this sensor. And it's saying... Is the auxiliary power at 100%? Well, if we take out one, it's at 100%. So next time I hit this button, see in the uh, down here, auxiliary is 500 out of 500. It, when I hit this button, this activation should go true. See? Now, if I go into flight mode and dump all my auxiliary power. And I go back here, I hit it, and should say, oh, that's false. You might be thinking, well, that's nice, but isn't there a great big bar to the right there that tells you its auxiliary power is full? Or not? Yes. Yes, there is. Actually, let's not attach that. Let's make a bigger auxiliary block. And uh, the notes and whatnot say only attach one system to this at a time to sense. Otherwise, strange things happen. But let's say I wanted to light up this yellow light here when it is 50% full. So this is now going to act like a rail speed controller. So you select the uh, sensor and you put down how many of your blocks you need and you activate it. So 50% it will turn on the yellow light. Except I don't want to have to hit this button again and again and again. Does everything just get darker? I'll spin. I think I'm in a sunless sector, but... Huh. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so let's make a real simple clock. Uh, da, 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 da. Not. There we go. And you go there, and you also hit the sensor. There we go. So it's at least... Nope. Uh, nothing there, or if it's nothing, it's um, 0%. I want to know if it's 50%. And it has passed 50%, so let's drop it below 50. And notice the light's out. And we're going to take a couple of these out so we get to 50% faster. And I deleted the one that was actually controlling. All right. So let's tr try that again. Be careful which blocks you delete, because you'll destroy your old circuit, like I just did. And also, I learned, if you're trying to use the sensor in my testing last night, don't put a randomizer there. Um, and not look at what you've done accidentally. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> All right. So it's charging... It's charging at five a second, and as soon as it hit, well, as soon as it hits halfway, and this clock ticks, that yellow light should come on. And this opens the opportunity for all types of things. Uh, this will also check the state of doors, jump drives, thrusters, um, power, and some other. Check the the, the notes on the uh, website for for exactly what all this is going to, what all it can check. So let's see, we're getting there, we're getting there, it just needs to get to 250. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up faster. And light. Haha, <laughs> isn't that great? And this gave me a good idea. Well, an idea I've been playing with for a while, but hadn't quite been feasible feasible. Hadn't been useful until now. And tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna try out my idea. Well, it's gonna be a proof of concept. And I'm gonna make you wait in suspense until tomorrow. And I've been JW608, this has been StarMade, and these have been the new logic blocks, the randomizer, which is not seen, the double display stuff, which is not seen, and this sensor block. I really like the sensor block. Anyway, I've been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I'll take you cats later.